Hello everybody, this is Keelan here. So I'm just going to cover some very basic Excel. Um, now what I have here is just a real quick chart that I kind of uh, you know, threw some stuff together here. So here's my student column. You know, I just made some, some random names. And then here's my grade column. Just random grades A, B, C, D, or F. And if you don't know already, with these headers, I just bolded them. Just use the bold right here. And I'm using um, Microsoft, or excuse me, um, a MacBook with Excel on here. So it might be a little different than a PC. And I have course and then pass or fail. <clears throat> now, what I did here, let me just switch this to cap. Now, what I did here is a very simple um, if statement. So, as you can see, John has a C, which is a passing grade. His course is math. And is he passing or is he, passing or is he failing? He's passing. Now, I'll show you this. Now, let's say he gets an F. Now, as we watch right here in this column, when I put in an F, it changes it to no. Okay, and if I was to make everybody's grade an F, then all these would be no's because they're not passing. But then if I change this one to an A, you can see this one changes to yes. Now, how did I do that? It's called an if statement. So, for example, here, we'll just change this to an A. <coughs> Now what I did here is with this if statement. So when you are using Excel, you always start with equal. That's to start your formula. Now the logic test. What, what are we wanting to do? So what this is telling us is that we're referencing D3 cell, which is this cell right here. And if it's less than an F, which is the false statement, excuse me, then it's going to put no. And if it's greater than F, which if it's true, if it's greater than F, then it's going to be yes. Okay. And then all I did is I just copied and pasted this top formula down to all these different rows. So now anytime I change this, so I'll go yes. So and then we'll watch, we'll watch this right here. So as you can see, it says no because he has an F. But let's say he does good in his accounting class. And we change that to a D. It switches it to yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's unfill this. Now another pretty cool thing that you can do is you can create a pivot table here. So we'll go to tables. And we'll insert table with headers. Okay. So now this is the same exact thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now if we change this to C, or I'm sorry, if we change this to F, you're going to see it changes it to no. Now really the only reason why I did this is it kind of makes it easy here. So let's say, you know, I click on this. Let's say I only want to see the people that are in accounting class. Okay. And then now it filters through just the accounting class, the students names with the grades and if they pass or fail. Then again I can still change this to let's say an A and then it changes this to yes. Now if I want to undo this I just go back here and you can see this little icon that means it's filtered. You just click it. You can either click clear filter or you can you know deselect that like that. So if I do this Okay, and then I want a clear filter, then it brings everything back again. Okay, so this is a pretty little easy way to do this. And let's say if I wanted to add um, another student, let's say let's add me. Okay, and then let's say I'm taking math. Okay, let's say I have an A. Okay. As you can see, it's not going to change the pass or fail grade. 
until I get to F. And it's going to change it to no. Now the cool part about this is you can just keep adding people. You know, let's add, um, let's say a Cali. Okay. And then it's going to keep building off and then I can add accounting again. Let's say she got an F. And it's going to change it to no. So you can just keep adding names, keep filtering her grades, and you can filter by grade. Let's say you want to see all the people that have F's in the class that aren't going to pass it. Oops. Okay. And then you can see now these are all the people. If I want to undo it, I just click clear filter. And that's pretty much it. It's a very basic, simple way to graph things. You can graph many different things. You know, if you want to graph uh, finances, or if you're a teacher, if you're an accountant, you can graph many different things with this. So hopefully that gives you a little better understanding, um, and we'll see you next time.